Pogo here. I had an interesting conversation on Twitter last night with one of my subscribers. Um, basically, here's how it went. He said, cute, some server whose name I've omitted uh, has a Bungie message plugin that they just used from me, and I thought it was custom, lol. So I replied to this. Incidents like this make me think twice about posting code in the description. He then replied, you really shouldn't. No one copies code straight from the video, but posting it makes it ten times easier. Stop it. I replied, if I remove it, the responsible users wouldn't get easy access to the code. He then responds, they can simply watch the video. It really is just given the servers free plugins. You might want to rethink that. If you log on to their network, you'll see it's 100% of the code you created. Just paste it into their own class and then export it. Then load it onto the server. And tons of others have probably done this. Mixed opinions, but removing would be better. So I said, fair enough. I decided to check out the server, so I went uh, to the server's Twitter account, whose name, again, I will not share. I joined the server, and the first thing that happened, as I noted, uh, is I just joined the server, and the first thing I see is a message about BPM, the Bungie Private Messenger, uh, which I made in the Bungie Cord miniseries. I had an episode in that miniseries um, that showed you how to make a private messenger that works across Bungie servers, servers that are connected to the same Bungie cord. And the first thing I see is a message um, giving information about it, which is exactly what I did in that episode. Um, and then he replies, exactly. So seeing this has given me second thoughts about posting my code in the description. I know that a lot of you um, do use the code for educational purposes only, uh, maybe you're cur you're curious about something, but there are some of you who go to the videos for the express purpose of taking the code and using it yourself. Um, and if that's the case, it's really not worth putting up videos to me because I could just write the code that's in the videos in one minute and post the code, uh, but I take you know ten to twenty minutes to go through and explain exactly what I'm doing as I write it. So. I'm going to give everyone a second chance, or really those who have been just stealing the code from me. I'm going to give you a second chance. I'm going to lay right now that the code can be used for educational purposes to learn, but you may not copy the code and paste it exactly into your servers because it's really not very fair. If you watch the video, It'll be an extra 10 minutes, but you'll learn exactly how it works, and then eventually you'll be able to make your own plugin. So it really doesn't make too much sense to me why um, you know, people wouldn't just watch the videos. If this issue does continue, I might have to stop posting code in my videos and remove all of the code that's already in the descriptions of my videos, because uh, my videos are intended to teach people not to just give away free code and encourage people to be lazy. So again, to those of you who do use the code responsibly, just for educational purposes, I'm sorry about this. Uh, but to those of you who don't use it responsibly, um, I mean, please, it's not very nice. You're robbing other people of the opportunity, and you really sh should just watch the video to learn how to do it. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon with some more coding videos.